Acromag offers a complete line of 4 to 20 milliamp isolators and splitters that are available to ship within 24 hours. There are three types of isolators which are based upon the power configuration. Output loop powered isolators require an external power source on the output 4 to 20 milliamp loop. This can be a power supply in series with output loop or, as pictured here, the isolator output can receive power from the input connection to the load. With either configuration, the module steals power from the output loop and the isolator has a sinking output. So the PLC powers the loop and the module controls the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Input loop powered isolators require enough power on the input 4 to 20 milliamp loop for the isolator to power itself and source the power to the output loop. Since the module steals power from the input loop, there will be a large voltage drop across the input to the isolator that depends upon the output load. For example, an output load that is equivalent to 250 ohms would yield a voltage drop of 10 volts DC across the input to this isolator. So the source that is powering the input loop must be more than 10 volts. Lastly, self-powered isolators require a separate power connection. The input loop is not burdened with a large voltage drop and the output power is sourced from the isolator. There are two types of isolation methods commonly used with isolators. With magnetic isolation, the primary coil or input and secondary coil or output are wrapped around a core of very high magnetic permeability such as iron. A current passing through the primary coil creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field lines pass through the iron core which produce a current in the secondary coil. With optical isolation, an LED and a phototransistor are separated so that light may travel across a barrier but electrical current may not. As an electrical signal is applied to the input, photons are emitted from the LED which excite the phototransistor. When it activates, a proportional electrical signal is generated at the output. In the following slides, Acromag will present six primary reasons for using 4 to 20 milliamp isolators and splitters. The first reason to use an isolator is to prevent ground loops and noise problems. A single ground connection poses no problem, but multiple grounds cause ground loops. In a ground loop, each ground is tied to different earth potential. This allows current to flow between the grounds, interfering with the actual signal. If an extraneous current is produced from 50 or 60 hertz AC power, noise is created. If this unwanted current is DC, it will create an offset. An isolator prevents unwanted currents by breaking ground loops. This eliminates noise problems and DC offsets. A very common application is in a system where a field instrument with a powered 4 to 20 milliamp output is connected to a PLC or controller that has a powered input. This type of connection is referred to as bucking power supply. In effect, two power sources are connected that oppose each other and current will not flow in the connected loop. The only solution is to isolate the two devices by inserting an isolator that is passive on both the input and output sides. As shown in this circuit, the direction of the arrows for both sides is into the module allowing this output signal from the H2S analyzer monitor to be transferred to the PLC. Another common occurrence is when the field transmitter does not have enough compliance voltage to source the output loop. Compliance voltage is a measure of the source that powers the 4 to 20 milliamp output from a device. It follows Ohm's law and in the example here, the rated compliance voltage of the dew point transmitter is 5.5 volts. So the maximum output load can be 5.5 divided by 20 milliamp or 0.02 which equals 275 ohms. However, there are two devices on this output 
24 to 20 milliamp loop, the panel meter and the chart recorder. The total input impedance of these two devices is 350 ohms and the dew point transmitter does not have enough power available. As a result, a self-powered isolator used for its amplifying capability and compliance voltage of 20 volts is inserted in the loop. A typical application is splitting a signal due to the distance between devices or to isolate two or more devices. In this circuit, the PLC and the display are located far apart which could present a problem with electrical noise if one loop was run. So the 633T-0100 AC powered splitter with three-way isolation is installed. This splitter has a 24 volt DC excitation supply for the pressure transmitter saving the cost of adding a DC power supply. The two outputs can drive up to 950 ohms each which is more than enough to power the 4 to 20 milliamp loops to the PLC and the display. With all Acromag 4 to 20 milliamp splitter products one important point should be made. A fault or open circuit on one output channel will not affect the other output channel or input loop. This can be very important in most designs or applications involving custody transfer. As technology continues to improve, the most advanced isolators now available include many features, all packaged in one device. The Acromag isolators not only help to prevent ground loops and noise problems, but include rugged circuitry making the electronics resistant to surges from voltage spikes while providing amplification to output loads. This greatly simplifies control loops and adds built-in system protection. It also offers the benefit of lower costs by using less devices and reduced labor with faster installation and startup. Finally, isolators and splitters have onboard adjustment capability for validation, quality assurance, or to compensate for changing field instrumentation over time. In this example, the 671T-0600 isolator is installed between the optical sensor and the interface terminal. With only one adjustment required, modifying the input to output ranges is very fast. If any adjustments were needed without the isolator in the circuit, the interface terminal would require the software to be reprogrammed. So incorporating an isolator with adjustability can offer a convenient method for maintaining higher system accuracy. Also, with the long life of today's electronics, cost savings will be realized many times over.